Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be making an application and the application is multi-container in Docker. So in the multi-container, there will be multiple containers running in Docker and you can uh, control them by using one single command like the Docker Compose. So I will be making this application and will show you the step-by-step -step process of it. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, I will create two directories and the first directory is going to be backend. And the second directory is going to be the sorry front end like this now these two directories each of these directories will be a separate container all right and i will create uh, for each of these directories i will create uh, docker files for them and uh, they will be working at the same time right and i will manage them with the help of Do uh, docker compose so um, let's write a docker file here so like a docker file and I will also create the what you can say main.go file and uh, after that let's write another file like uh, go to the backend here and go mode in it and uh, after that I will move to the front uh, front end and create uh, a file by the name of default config conf and I will also create a file by the name of docker docker file like this and once these two files uh, directories are done i will create another file by the name of docker compose.yml all right so uh, i will come uh, i will control them in this uh, uh, in docker compose.yml file uh, but first of all i need to make uh, the data i will write i will have to write the commands in it and then i will um, move to the docker compose file in order to control them or to run them uh, at the same time all right so let's uh, uh, write package main and inside this package main what I will do I will write a main function and the main function inside this main function I will write HTTP handle func like this and uh, let's give it a, a slash that will be a path home path and let's write a function in it like this um, HTTP response writer uh, response writer and the next path is going to be uh, R sorry for the request HTTP request like this all right so now and we are done after that let's write print f and pre f what you can say f print f w uh, hello from golang backend yeah this is how it will done and uh, let's write uh, HTTP listen and serve uh, port is going to be let's say um, 5000 all right so this time the port is changed yeah uh, so I can execute this if I want to by writing go run main dot go but I want to execute this using the docker container not just by writing the go run main dot go so let's write uh, go to the docker file of the backend directory and inside this I will create an image like uh, from image from the Golang latest image it will fetch that and after that working directory inside this working directory this uh, app, app working directory the uh, what you can say the application will be deployed and the uh, image will be created inside the docker and after that I need to copy the um, what you can say main.go file into the application directory all right so inside this app, app directory the main.go file will be copied and uh, it will create a docker image from it and similarly i will copy the um, go.mode file also uh, into the app directory and the next step is going to be uh, what you can say uh, um, run go mo, uh, go build o main so it will build the main dot go image and after that it will run it and i will run it by using this command main all right so now it will be able to run this main that is built it all right so yeah so this is how it will work so let's save them and now let's go to the front end side let's close this back end front end and inside this front end i will first of all move to the docker and inside the docker file what i will do i will write from nginx nginx uh, alpine so this is the image that i'm going to fetch 
uh, in the front end and that image will be shown to the user right so uh, that, with the help of that image i can execute this main.go file all right so this is a uh, nginx server that uh, with the help of that nginx server i will be uh, showing this data uh, into the onto the browser so let's copy the data so the copy is going to be default conf so this is the default conf uh, uh, file that will be copied from uh, uh, what you can say from here to etc uh, what you can say the uh, default or sorry nginx nginx and uh, conf.d so this is the directory inside the nginx in which that file this file will be copied all right so this is the nginx directory inside this directory there is a conf directory and inside this directory the this default.conf file will be uh, copied and uh, let's go to the default.conf file uh, in which i will write the command like first of all i will write listen mm, sorry server listen to the port 50 uh, sorry 40 so this will listen to the port and this is uh, calling the server and after that what i will do i will write a location and insert this location what i will do i will write proxy pass uh, host host uh, host like this so basically what it does it will um, forward the host request to the nginx all right and similarly it will uh, forward the um, for proxy set header request to the uh, what you can say http uh, backend uh, backend port 5500 5000 right? so similarly it will also forward this uh, uh, set header or the uh, or the file that or the data that is present inside this main.go file it will forward it into the nginx server and uh, it will be able to run it all right so this is the backend uh, that will be running uh, and it will forward it to the nginx server and i will uh, I, I have used the docker file for it in which that uh, data will be transferred to the nginx conf.d file all right similarly i will write um, prox set header and inside this i will write x what you can say x um, so yeah this is the real ip that i need to write and after that let's write uh, rem dollar a remote address so basically what it does uh, all these requests will be uh, go to the root directory like uh, the host will be forwarded and after that the port will be forwarded and the remote uh, the ip will be uh, forwarded to the um, what you can say root id and I, I, after that that root will run that backend will run so uh, this is the thing that basically from the backend it will move to the uh, from the front end it will move to the back end so the back end won't run until the front end is running so it will only run the back end will only run if the front end is running successfully and it is re, uh, forwarding that request to the back end so after when the uh, when the front end will uh, forward the request to the back end then in that case the back end will run so yeah this is the thing that i have written it here so after that let's go save this and now both of these things are done let's write a docker compose file in which i will uh, write both of these directories and the files inside them and uh, i will make a connection between them so they uh, they are dependent on each other and then the front end will uh, the back end will only run if the front end is executed correctly so let's write the version so the version is going to be three this is the uh, what you can say the docker version uh, and after that let's write uh, what you can say services uh, build or sorry backend build and inside this what I will do I will write the context so the context is going to be like uh, this one backend and after that the port that will be running is that ports like this uh, it is going to be um, 5000 5000 like this all right so let's write maybe like this or yeah so this is fine now so it will run the backend 
it will build it it will be, uh, take the back end and after that it will take the port of the back end also and after that um, it will uh, i will run the front end here so the front end will look like this front end build once the front end is built i will write the context so the context is that the front end so it will take the back end and it will also take the uh, front end and the back end will run on this port and the front end will run on this port like ports um, what you can say port 40 40 as you can see here that i have already written this will it will listen to this port 40 port and based on this port uh, this uh, front end will run and after that when the front end will run it will be uh, it will be able the it will make this back end uh, run all right so let's write another command depends on so depends on means that uh, uh, the front end is depending on the back end so the front end will run and after that the back end will run so yeah let's write the back end like this so yeah i hope you understood from this side so yeah this is working fine and the syntax and all these things are correct so now you may be aware of this that uh, the front end and the back end are related to each other and the front end is dependent on the back end so yeah this is how it will work so let's save this save this one save this one again uh, go to the main.go file save this and save this one now let's write docker compose built first of all so now you can see here that they are built successfully so yeah it is uh, right fine it is fine so now let's write docker compose uh, run or sorry docker compose up instead of writing run so yeah now this is running fine let's go to the uh, chrome and inside this chrome browser what i will do i will write uh, 5000 like this now you can see that hello from golang uh, backend so first of all it contacted the front end so when the front end is uh, uh, accepting the, all these things and uh, it is uh, what you can say uh, forwarding the request uh, to the back end then after the uh, that the back end is uh, executing these commands so the uh, if the front end is not forwarding the uh, com uh, commands then the back end won't run this all right so this is the important thing so yeah this is working fine so now what i will do i will close this and now if i type it again this will not work so yeah this is how it will work so now what i will do i will write git branch so currently there is only one branch so let me just go back go back again or uh, yeah this will be fine right so git add git commit um, created a, a multi container application in docker git push origin main so yep let's go to the uh, here so if i refresh this you can see there are 30 uh, 13 comments and this is the code of it you can check this out and uh, yep as you can see here this is how it will work so yeah i hope you understood and uh, liked this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye